In this step, let's learn about transitive dependencies. What are transitive dependencies and how does Maven handle them? In the earlier example, we saw that when we added in the Hibernate core jar, along with it, there are a lot of jars that were added in here. So we just, I'll try and remove this right now. So I'm removing the Hibernate jar. You'd see that everything in the Maven dependencies except for JUnit jar are disappearing. Let's add in the Hibernate jar right now. So I would add in the Hibernate jar. So you'd see that there are a lot of jars which are added in. So not just the Hibernate core, I'm adding org Hibernate, Hibernate core 5.0.6 final. That's what is highlighted on the screen right now. But along with it, there are a lot of dependencies which are coming in in here. These dependencies are what are called transitive dependencies. These are basically the dependencies of the Hibernate framework. The thing is, we want Hibernate. And in turn, Hibernate needs other frameworks for it to work. Those are the dependencies of Hibernate framework. The dependencies of the Hibernate framework are defined in the Hibernate form file. How do I get there? I can do a control. So if you press the command or the control and click on the dependency, you'd bring up a pom.xml file. So what you are looking at right now is the pom.xml of Hibernate framework. You'd see that there is a Hibernate core. The version in here, the packaging is jar. So Hi Hibernate is a jar file. So the packaging for it is jar. That's also the default packaging. And if I go in further, you'd see that there are a lot of other dependencies defined in here. So if you look at the dependencies, there is a JBoss logging. There is a lot. That's what we would see in here as well. JBoss logging and Hibernate JPA 2.1 API. Hibernate JPA 2.1 API. Java Assist. That's basically what we have in here. So all the other dependencies which are coming in here are because of the Hibernate. So those are the dependencies of Hibernate. These are what are called transitive dependencies. The transitive dependencies are nothing but the dependencies of the dependencies that we include in here. So if you want to see all the dependencies that come in, one of the ways is to go to Maven dependencies. And the other way is to go to the dependency hierarchy tab in Eclipse. So if you go to the dependency hierarchy tab, it shows in all the resolved dependencies. On the right hand side at the end are all the resolved dependencies. If you want to find out how we are getting the dependency, so you see that there's a DOM4j in here. I don't want to use DOM4j. I want to find out where the DOM4j is coming in. I just click on it. So I click on it, then it says, DOM4j is coming because I have Hibernate core. And if you include on JBoss logging, it says JBoss logging is coming in because it's used in two things. One is Hibernate core and Hibernate common annotations, which is actually a dependency of Hibernate core. So these are how you can see the different, this is how you can see the transitive dependencies of a specific project. You can go to the dependency hierarchy tab in Eclipse. Thanks for joining more than a million students who are learning from us. At In 28 Minutes, we defined a learning roadmap for Java and front-end developers. We created more than 25 courses covering all the topics that you are seeing on the screen. There are four things you can do to make best use of these courses. Number one is Udemy. You'll find a link in the description of the video to our Udemy profile. We are teaching a lot of courses on Udemy and most of them are free. Number two, visit our website www.in28minutes.com. You'd find tons of information including how you can register for our trainings and the link to Udemy and our GitHub code as well. Number three, visit our GitHub repository. With more than 20 repositories covering varied examples, it's a comprehensive source of information and code. Last but not the least, you'll find a set of discount codes for all our Udemy courses in the description as well. Feel free to use them. Good luck from the team here at In28 Minutes, your destination for high quality step-by-step -step courses.